This is the exact playbook that took my apps from zero to $100 in revenue and I'm going to break it down step by step so you can apply it to your own apps too. You don't need thousands of downloads or a massive budget to make money from apps. I made my first 100 bucks when I barely had any users and today I want to share with you how you can do it too. So before that let me introduce myself. I am Daniel and I have built over 32 applications and it generated over $1200 in the last 6 to 7 months. So I'm just an indie developer like you and I'm learning from every application I launch and I want to share these things with you. I'm not trying to sell you any course, so let's see what you can do to make your first 100 bucks. This is the exact playbook that took my apps from 0 to $100 in revenue and I'm going to break it down step by step so you can apply it to your own apps too. So the very first thing is just ship that idea. You don't need a perfect design, you don't need 10 features, you don't need a, an amazing application icon all you have to do is to ship that app even if that app doesn't make any money we learn more things from launching it rather than just spending months in that planning mode every single app that i have built and including those that who flopped taught me something new from the first step until now i've learned a lot of things such as design simpler and fast how to do my aso how to monetize better and how to ship fast so if you're still hesitating launching that application just ship that app because you can't even make your first dollar if the application doesn't exist. Now, a quick word from our today's video sponsor, boot.dev. If you have tried learning to code before and got bored halfway through, this might change that. Boot.dev teaches you backend development the way you'd actually do it at a job. By building real projects using Python, SQL, go and many more languages what makes it stand out is how it turns coding into a game you earn xp level up unlock achievements complete quests and even fight bosses while learning it makes the whole process feel way more rewarding and way less schoolwork and here is the cool part because backend developers are in massive demand right now the median salary in the us in 2024 was over 100k so these are skills that really pay off if you want to start learning to code the fun and practical way head to boot.dev using the link in the description or my code to get the 25% off your first payment and start your first quest today thanks to boot.dev for sponsoring today's video now let's talk about that app idea so before telling me that you don't have any ideas just start thinking about what problems or things you will find useful by yourself or what other applications could help anybody that is in your friend group or family. For example, an amazing app idea that came from my girlfriend was a tanning application. In the summer, she wanted an app that helps her tan with custom tanning routines and to track the sunlight and stuff like that. So I did my research, created a simple design and shipped that app fast, like in 5 days or something like that. In the first week of launch, it generated around $136 if I'm not wrong. So if you think that a simple idea can make money, the truth is it can make money, but if the niche is not oversaturated and that's what we are gonna talk about now to figure that out you have to do some aso and this stands for app store optimization and is like aso but for apps unfortunately this part requires a bit of investment because the aso tools aren't free and for aso i'm using astro which is 99 dollars per year but if you want a discount of 20 percent off you can check out the link in the description when i purchased astro i barely made 50 bucks from indie apps and i was scared to invest more into this but that investment completely changed the results because after purchasing astro and started improving my aso my mrr got up to 250 bucks per month so aso is the most crucial part in helping users discover your application through the app store but if you don't want to see what i'm doing in here i added some timestamp so you can skip this one out so let me show you how to do a proper keyword research because here is where the most people mess up so there are two things i'm looking for a popularity score over 20 and the difficulty score below 60. That sweet spot means that people are searching for it but is not too competitive. Once you have this list of keywords make sure that you integrate them into your app title, subtitle and the description. So for example if your application 
is a photo cleaner application, your app title must be photo cleaner and the app name afterwards. You should do this because people when are searching for this type of application, they will not know about your app. So they will simply search for photo cleaner. Also in the description, you can reference to your application like photo cleaner and the brand name directly with some quotation marks because it will help the algorithm understand that this is your application and if the people are searching for this type of keyword, it will rank higher in the search results. Before building something serious, you need to check if the niche is making money. For that I'm using Sensor Tower. It shows you what revenue your competitors are generating per month. If your competitors are generating at least 5 to 10k per month, this is a great sign because users are willing to pay for this type of app. But if every competitor doesn't make any money, that's not a good niche and is not worth spending your time on it. Moving forward in building the application and there are two the most important things that you need to take care of and I'm talking about the onboarding and the paywall. Trust me these two things can make your app fail or succeed. So your onboarding should have at least three screens. If it has more it's better. Use those screens to highlight the main feature, show how your app saves storage time or effort, make the users instantly understand what your app does. This is where you sell the value and make sure that you are requesting the review before showing the paywall. Reviews are as important as ASO because an app with a lot of reviews will rank higher in the top apps. Moving on to paywall and monetization, for that I'm using Revenue Cat. It's amazing because it allows you to do A-B testing to see which paywall converts better, change the design remotely without resubmitting the app to Apple, and easily manage the subscription through multiple apps. My pricing strategy is pretty straightforward. I have a weekly plan for $5.99 US dollars with 3 day free trial and a lifetime plan with $34.99 US dollars one time purchase. Sometimes I also offer a 30% discount for the lifetime deal after the user closes the paywall. For some apps it converts, for some doesn't, but it's worth to try. Another key point is that your app should have one main feature and that feature should work perfectly. If your app crashes or freezes like crazy, it doesn't matter how good is your onboarding or how good is your paywall because people will simply delete it. So make sure that your core feature is implemented very well and alongside with a clean UI and smooth animations. Also if you're adding haptics into your applications this is a big bonus because a lot of users love haptic feedback. So don't worry about adding 10 more features, one is enough. Once the app is live, don't simply forget about that app. Check your analytics like how many people saw the paywall and what conversion rates the paywall have. Small improvements can double your revenue. Maybe that onboarding doesn't bring enough value to the user. Maybe your paywall isn't converting. Make sure that you don't spend much time in improving an app that is already published and it didn't generate any revenue in the first week. This is how you go from 100 to 500 to 1k. Not by luck, by iteration. Here's something I wish someone told me earlier. Making your first 100 bucks from apps is the hardest milestone. Once you reach the first 100, the next big milestone is the 1000. After that, things are getting a lot easier because you have seen what people are paying for, how to improve your onboarding, how to optimize the app and how to convert users. This is the proof that you can build something, launch it and earn from your own apps. Breaking that 100 bucks is like flipping a switch in your brain, like what if I have 10 of those apps or how can I make that one better? Alright, that's the playbook. Ship your app, focus on one main feature, optimize it and monetize it smartly. Follow these steps and I'm sure that you will hit your first 100 bucks. After this, things will get a little easier because you will understand how to do some ASO and design and ship fast. So the most important part is to just ship that idea. So each small win matters so even if your first app makes 20 bucks maybe your second app will make 40 or 60. And when you will make your first 100 bucks please come back to this video and share that in the comments because it will make me a lot happier. So if you found this video helpful make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and if you have that hype button make sure to hit it too. And thanks to boot.dev for sponsoring today's video and until the next video take care.